so busy being efficient that we breeze right by the very people God wants us to touch. Our families, our friends, our co-workers, our neighbors. We've made a lifestyle of hurry and efficiency. But the divine reality is this. Jesus said that our primary purposes in life are to love God and to love people. I think it's safe to say that fast is the enemy of love. We can't love people in a hurry. We can't serve them in a hurry or listen to them in a hurry or empathize with them or comfort them in a hurry. They'll say that we're just going through the motions and believe me, they won't feel loved. And we certainly can't love God in a hurry either. Ever try to do that? It simply doesn't work. We can't pray properly if we're in a hurry. We can't worship properly if we're looking at our watch. We don't meet God when reading the Bible if, deep down, we see this activity as just another item on the to-do list. And with regard to our growth groups, our cell groups, our Sunday school classes, we get far less than God has in store for us when we just rush through our preparation and our participation. Love takes time, loving God and loving people. It's not at all efficient. But you know what? It's okay to be inefficient in our relationships. It's, in fact, better to go more slowly. It's better to take time and sit at God's feet like Mary instead of scurrying around doing things for Him like Martha. In a world that says, go faster, we have a God who's compassionate enough to say, go slower. He says, relax, take the time to be with me, and take time for the people I've entrusted to you. You're exhausting yourself to operate at the speed of light, but the better way is to operate at the speed of love. Why not give it a try this week?